Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. One of the great challenges in the body of Christ today are people that don't belong in the ministry. They are a person who had some charisma. They are a person who had some human ability in speaking. They are a person who had some marketing skills, and maybe they were a really good cell unit leader. And then they decided that they were just going to build a church, and they were going to be a pastor. Well, I'm sorry. It doesn't work like that. When Jesus walked into this world, the people were astonished at his teaching because the Bible said he taught as one who had the right. He taught as one with authority, the one who had the right to teach. David, King David, had to learn this the painful way when he had one of his assistants grab the Ark of the Covenant as it was being brought up to Jerusalem and he died on the spot. Later, when he finally did bring the Ark of the Covenant up to Jerusalem, he realized only the Levites can carry the Ark. He had to recognize and value the God-called ministry. Now, in our text today in Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6, Paul teaches us, But the ministry Jesus has received. Ministry is received. It is not assumed. It is not a right taken. It is not something claimed. How often did the Apostle Paul say, Paul, an apostle by the grace of God. Paul, I've received this apostleship by the grace of God. Paul called to the office of an apostle. He opens almost every one of his epistles with that statement, reminding people he didn't choose the ministry. He received the ministry. Now, even Jesus received the ministry of high priest. I want to challenge you today. If there's a call of God in your life, then you belong in the ministry. But if there's not a call of God upon your life, then you should be a great connect group leader, a, a great council of servants member, a great choir member, a great usher, a great servant in the house of God. But never because of human ability, never because of human charisma, assume and take an office of ministry. The ministry is received by grace. Now that doesn't make pastors better than anybody else. Not in any way, shape, or form. In fact, Paul speaks pretty strongly that we are at the end of this humiliation march and things, and that's a whole other subject. The ministry is not somebody special, and it's not like one person in Cebu, and I've heard it said also in Singapore, the ministry is, if you want to get rich, become a born-again preacher. No. It's not about that. The ministry is something that is received by grace into our life. God calls us. Now, if you're called, and there's a call upon your life, and you need to be trained for ministry, we'll work with you. We, we have the School of Pastoral Studies where we take a small group of people that we've really validated and we really believe are called. We don't allow just anybody to come in. We'll help train you. But if you're not called, please, be happy. Be happy as a Christian serving in the house of God.